Hi friends, thank you for stopping by again uh, to watch my channel. If you do like this video, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and so that you can um, get all the notifications as soon as I put any new videos. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to make a herbal uh, shampoo or sort of uh, deep conditioner uh, for moisturizing your hair. Uh, to make it more smoother, beautiful, and especially with the hair fall problems. So we're gonna address those issues. Uh, we are gonna make a herbal shampoo that is not uh, that is not at all harmful to your to your hair, and it actually gives a nice. Um, uh, it it actually helps grow your hair more. Um, it also helps with your dandruff as well, and um, any hair related issues uh, as this is herbal and organic um, deep moisturizer. So first to start with, I'm gonna take a pan and into the pan, I'm just gonna put, um, here I have a um, mixture of uh, flax seeds um, that I just grinded, flax seeds and uh, black seeds. So black, which is the kolonji seeds, and some flax seeds. So I'm gonna pour all of that into the pan. Uh, it all depends upon how much big you wanna make, I mean, how much, uh, what quantity you wanna make into. Um, I kind of just make a big jar uh, for me and um, the whole family, or four of us, uh, me, my husband, and um, the two girls. So we kind of wash, uh, at least we keep that moisturizing our hair for 30 minutes. We keep this um, deep conditioning for 30 minutes right before you are ready to wash your hair. So you wanna rinse your hair first, put this moisturizer in, onto your hair, hold it for 30, 30 minutes. You might wanna put the cap, um, the shower cap, okay, to get it nice moisturized. And then you can ready to, uh, you can do shampoo and conditioning. Okay, so here I have uh, flax seeds and the black seeds or the kalonji seeds. I just mixtured um, into the mixture and I have a nice uh, powder of it, right? Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some onion powder. Uh, you can grab any onion powder. I just grabbed this from Costco. Uh, use some onion powder. As onion is very good for your hair. Um, I know it doesn't sound right, but it's excellent ingredient to uh, make your hair smooth, soft, moisturized, and uh, better texture. Um, then the next one I'm gonna use is, um, I do have amala powder. The key ingredient for these are amala, sikakai, and uh, uh, arita powder. I don't have arita powder right now, but I'm gonna get some, and then as soon as I get some, I'll, I'll add into it. Uh, but I have some amla powder, so I'm gonna add any amla powder. You can also use the herbal name brand that we're gonna use, um, uh, which only comes for the hair. So I'm gonna use the herbal um, for the hair as well. Uh, so this is an amla powder. I put put like about what you know, depend upon how many how much quantity you like to have. So um, for this one, I just kind of pour the one that I, you know, pour some into the jar um, as much as I want. I did put a lot of amla because amla is very good for your hair growth um, and it stops from, it prevents from hair fall. So um, yeah, I like to have a lot of amla into my, uh, into my hair conditioning. So amla powder, you can use sikake powder and please do add sikake and arita powder into it as I will also do that. Uh, now I'm gonna add some neem powder. I do have that neem powder, just opened up some neem powder. Uh, same name brand has the arita and sikake powder. I don't have those two powders, but I'm gonna put those in there as soon as I get it. I'm gonna add those ingredients. Um, so I added some neem powder, at least about half bag of this. But you can use the whole if you wanna make a big, big jar up to here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna add into. Some neem powder. 
And then I'm gonna add some fenugreek powder um, or the methi powder. Methi gives a nice, a smooth texture. It moisturizes your hair to not volume it, but actually it textures it straight, okay? So fenugreek is very good for your hair as well. So I'm gonna put some methi powder into my ingredient. Again, it all depends upon how much quantity do you do you want to go uh, for. So we added neem and then fenugreek, and then I'm gonna uh, put some uh, some um, coconut oil. So for the coconut oil, um, it applies, do you do need to add some essential oils. So I like coconut oil, which is very good for your hair. Um, I'm gonna add some coconut oil into my ingredient. Any good coconut oil. I have here, I have organic one. Uh, you can use the parachute um, coconut oil as well. Whatever is uh, whatever that you're that you're comfortable with, um, in this case. So I'm gonna add some coconut oil, um, as much as you want. Um, the more oil you make, uh, it will give a nice moisturize to your hair. To your hair. So I would say about three four spoons um, or bigger or or large spoons. Um, so I'm gonna add those in there. Next one I'm gonna add is the um, so the next thing I'm gonna add is um, jojoba oil which is very good um, the jojoba oil is one of the very good essential oil that you want to use for your hair uh, moisturizing your hair it doesn't have to be drops you can put the at least few spoons. So I'm just gonna try pouring a little bit into it because my quantity is large. I wanna make sure that it is a large quantity. Um, so I, I'm gonna put the jojoba, put about four, four spoons or so um, because I do have a large quantity of the moisturizer. This should last for, you can, you have to keep that in the refrigerator. Once you put it in the jar, Keep it in the refrigerator, okay? Um, so I added that into it. <coughs> so that was jojoba. And then the next ingredient is, of course, you wanna add um, the sikakwe and amla powder, uh, um, sikakwe and uh, arita powder in it. Um, depending upon your quantity, um, make sure you do add that into it. I'm gonna get that as soon as um, I'm gonna add that into it as soon as I find it. Now let's do the the uh, uh, aloe vera gel. So here I have aloe vera gel that, that was left over the leaf. So I'm gonna put those, put that a little bit in it into the thing. But I usually just like the. Um, the actually gel. I like the organic gel. Um, aloe vera has so many different kinds of gel. It all depends upon, you know, uh, which one you prefer, but I do prefer the organic one uh, for the for the gel because um, it just have, you know, more reliability on quality. Um, so try to get organic as much as you can for organic coconut oil. Um, and any any products um i'm gonna on my next video i'm gonna show you guys the moisturizing how to moisturize your face um since it's a winter time um uh, with, with the safety or with the herbal products how do you moisturize your face um, so here i have this aloe vera gel that is 100 percent 
organic and it's beautiful i love it it's just i use this for my face i use this gel for my um uh, for my face and for my hair and this is aloe vera gel is excellent skin remedy so it's excellent skin remedy and it's very good for your hair so i'm gonna pour some in i use that for my um i use that for my hair so I'm, I don't regret using any, not using any other one because I just find this texture or the, the purity of it uh, is very beautiful. The clean or the clear aloe vera gel is, it, it means it has a more, uh, it's more ori original, it's more organic uh, as opposed to, you know, the, these ones. I use it sometimes when I really don't have choice, but, um, I really like the 100% aloe vera gel uh, because it has clear uh, color, which is more um, to the or original um, quality than these. Uh, but if you don't have choice, you know, you can put, pour some in. Um, it just has little, has little greener, uh, greener color in it, which I don't really prefer. So I try not to use those more. Anyways, and then um, the next thing we're gonna add is, um, you can add some uh, castor oil as well um, to give a good texture as well. Uh, so tech, you can add anything, pretty much anything that is uh, very good for your uh, hair, for your hair. Uh, I have added, as I was men mentioning to you earlier when I added, um, um, when I added um, the black seeds and the flax seeds, I did add some um, um, curry patta or the curry leaves. So I do have some curry powder in it. So I'm going to add that into it. It's kind of sticky, but I'm just going to add into it or uh, mint powder and curry powder. It gives uh, your hair not to be so gray. So as you can see, my hair is, I almost don't have to dye my hair at all. And I don't have any gray hair, probably one or two. Uh, but um, yeah, I, even now I don't have much gray hair because I use these kind of good stuff uh, for my hair. Uh, so this is very good for your, I just put, um, I do have curry leaves growing into my uh, sunroom. So I pull those curry leaves out and, um, and made some powder from it. So I still have some leftover powder that I mixed it and I'm going to put that into my ingredient. Curry leaf and uh, mint leaf. Okay, I do have some mint growing into my front yard. So I do cut those mint and make a powder of it uh, to use it for my hair. Uh, you can also use mint for many things. Uh, I do use mint for my kala. Uh, some of these ingredients are very good for the kala. Uh, that I make. I'm sure you have seen my video on uh, on my channel, on my YouTube channel for Kara uh, to make your immune system stronger, uh, to boost up your immune system stronger. So me and my kids and my husband, we all drink it every day. Uh, it uh, prevents you from getting cold, fever, uh, any sore throat, pain, joint pains. Um, it controls your sugar level, balances your cholesterol level, so many more. The Kara uh, video has all the ingredients and it has the benefits. Uh, there is another video for the benefits as well. Uh, I did my, all my research on that, so it's very much uh, reliable for you to use. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to add some uh, more uh, coconut oil and I'm going to uh, pour some water in it for the nice texture and let it um, uh, let it go a little uh, I'm gonna let the uh, make it a little bit soft paste right so adding some water in and I'm gonna warm it up on the uh, or, or put hot water and mix it with this powder okay pretty much what I'm gonna do now is boil some water into the separate pan and add that boiled water into this so make a nice soft uh, paste okay so that's what you want to do and i'm gonna keep that into a entire jar uh, so 
so so i'm like this size i just keep it into the plastic container you know you can use any plastic container to keep this into your refrigerator refrigerator um, so m make sure you do get this into a nice paste uh, just put some water boiled water in uh, but i don't want to waste your time while the water is gets well uh, boiled so i'm going to pour pour some boiled water into this according to how much um, thick or thin paste I want. And that's pretty much it. So you do want to just basically, the way you use this is put into your hair, put onto your hair for 30 minutes before um, you're shampooing and conditioning your hair. So 30 minutes, keep it for uh, before washing out your hair. Thank you all for watching me today. I hope you like this video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel so you can get more of uh, these videos notifications. Thank you.